Hi there. Here comes the part two of our shadow shadow fruit command. Today, I will show you on how to create the shadow bats using commands. Compared to the four abilities of this shadow shadow fruit command creation, this one is my favorite. We're already done with the shadow scissors yesterday. So now let me explain you this shadow bats ability. When you hold a totem, you can spawn an army of shadow bats. The amount of shadow bats you can spawn depends on how many shadows you already obtain. Since I have 253 shadows now, I can spawn 253 shadow bats. But remember, these shadow bats are not invincible, they can be also be killed by other mobs. These shadow bats will deal a continuous damage to the nearest entity from it. You can also control how many bats you want to spawn, just don't hold a totem to stop spawning. And now, holding a nether star will turn your shadow bats into shadow again. The shadow bats will come to you to be absorbed again. And you can spawn them again and again and again. Alright, enough of this spawning. Let's move on now to the commands. We'll start by the seventh command. Whenever we hold a nether star, this command will continuously consume our shadows until we stop holding a totem or when we ran out of shadow. Next is to spawn our shadow bats. While the previous command continuously consumes our shadow, this command will turn the shadow to shadow bats. Since we only have a small number of shadows, let's summon it in a cute portion, just for now. Now to make the shadow bats chase the nearest entity. This command will make the shadow bats to chase the nearest entity within their 5 radius. Set this one to unconditional. The shadow bat don't want to leave the sheep. Well anyway, let's make the shadow bat to deal damage. Using this command, the shadow bats now will deal a continuous to damage to entities within its one radii. Oh wait! Oops, where's the eye? Alright, it's good now. Oh, 
poor little shadow back. You will never be forgotten. Anyway, let's add now the nether star detector and its play sound command. Whenever we hold a nether star and there are still shadow bats nearby, this command will be played. Where are the shadow bats we spawned earlier? Anyway, let's call them using this next command. Whenever we hold a nether star, they will be forced to move towards the user. Now let's call them. Oh, there you are. There's another one. Alright, now let's make them gone. This command will gonna make it look like we absorbed the shadow bats, because when the shadow bats reached us, when we're holding nether star, they will be teleported to the void. And when they got teleported to the void, that is the time they will be converted to shadow again. For every one shadow, bat sent to the void is equivalent to one shadow for the user. Now we have 21 shadow only. Oh wait, these are the shadow bats earlier. Now, let's try to summon and absorb 23 shadow bats. Still, 23. Alright, let's proceed to animations. Whenever we hold a totem, the animation that Evoker do when they're summoning Vex will be played. And of course, for animation cancelling. Alright, all commands for Shadow Bat's ability is all set now. Time to start the party. Let's invite some guests. And you know what, guys, there's a saying, the more the merrier. 
why don't we speed up the process? What a nice view. Alright guys, well, that's it. But remember, this is just a part two. We still have other two more abilities to showcase. So see you guys tomorrow, and this is Game Over Gaming. Signing out.